Um, I dance with the company dance with my daughter, so um, I'm she's 17 and I'm 42. So um, you know, when you start, I always wanted to dance in my life, but because of so many things, work and then marriage and then kids and then um, you know all those stresses in life actually have made that I couldn't actually find the time. Um, so when, after I hit 40, I thought, oh my God, what am I doing, doing with my life? I want to do something that I really wanted to do, and that's when. I met Nikita and um, I was very inspired with her work, uh, with her experience in life and I looked up her on YouTube and stuff like that so I was really interested. Um, and we started last term, it was it was a great experience and I think it gives us a lot of bonding, the two of us. Um, we spent a lot of time talking about dance, we still spent a lot of time talking about the rhythms and, uh, and I learned a lot from her because you always expect as a parent, you're always expected to learn, to teach your children and this is completely reverse mentoring because she teaches me a lot of things. She's very quick at picking up stuff. Um, and so on our Saturdays, we actually spend time actually doing a lot of practice and everything. So yeah, it's it's taught me great things and it's actually um, made me a lot calmer. Um, a lot, I mean, I kind of appreciate the little things, the mindfulness, living pre present in the moment and things like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, that's a very good endorsement, isn't it? <laughs> and it helps you work together and enjoy each other's company more. So how old are you? Um, my name is Shreya Nayad and I'm 17 years old and this is my mum. Yeah. Um, so we come together every Sunday to learn dancing. And I used to dance Bhadanati when I was a kid, so you know I, ha I know a bit of dancing from that. But um, I don't know, I just kind of stopped that after a while. and. I wanted to dance again and my mum told me about this um, dance studio and it was something she wanted and something I was also happy to do so yeah we come every week we um, talk about dance and it's just fun it's nice to be with someone and to be with my mum it's even nicer so. Oh, but it's lovely. Dad feel, feels sad all the time, but you know, hey ho, but it's, it's our bonding yeah. kind of experience together. Lovely. Uh, I am Shamir Kumar Das. I have come from India to visit my grandchildren, my uh, son-in-law and my daughter, and my grandchildren are in here. She is learning uh, Kathak here uh, for many months. And I have also come, I have the opportunity to come here first time to see the whole arrangements of this uh, TNC studios, which is excellent in their effort. They took all efforts to put all the children in uh, practice of Kathak dance. And as to my knowledge, I have seen their attitude for the Kathak dance is that it is not mere the Kathak dance that one is coming and learning and uh, getting uh, performance in many stages and getting more applauses. That's not the whole thing. The more of that is that they are putting children to their very disciplined life. And if the children are disciplined in an inner world, then they, the whole around the whole world around them is fully disciplined and fully uh, joyful. They will remain cheerful, exuberant and very peaceful. That is the main contribution of this Kathak dance in gradually they are learning from their daily practices and their daily devotion. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nisha and this is my daughter Shreya who's just performed today. She is in Intermediate. Um, I was really proud to watch um, all of the girls, including my daughter, dance today. They dance with elegance and poise and grace. Um, and Shreya, how did you find it? Good. How did you enjoy it? Good, because I really like to dance. Yeah. I also do ballet. And when I do both of them, I always feel so happy when I dance. That's lovely. And cut up music. The music is beautiful, isn't it? It's very calming. Um, and it's part of our culture, which is one of the reasons why, obviously, amongst another form of dance, she also does this style as well. But um, yeah, so I'm really proud of you. Well done. Hi, I am Harini. The reason I joined this Kathak class is I want to explore the roots of my uh, Indian ethnicity and the culture and I found Kathak is the right place to start.
You haven't been doing dance very long, have you? <laughs> uh, actually, I'm quite new to Kathak. I just joined around two two months back with Nikita, and I completely enjoyed the journey with her. Now I really feel like there is a Kathak in me, and I can I can just convey it to the world with my dance. Now, uh, it's a very precise form of dancing. So have you got to learn from the very beginning, like the little ones do, or is it different? Oh, actually, I started with a very beginner level. Like, I used to dance with kids, and I think Nikita has the right way to train us. Like, she uh, she considers every every everyone to be an equal. You're a computer developer, aren't yeah. you? Actually, uh, I, I feel more energized and productive after I dance for a while. So whenever I'm just so stressful with the work, what I do, I just put some music on and then dance few Kathak steps. Then I'll feel very, very relaxed and then I'll go, go back to, to my work again. I'm Priya and um, I've always loved Indian classical dancing since I was a little girl. I thought it's just such a beautiful and graceful dance form and I never had the chance to learn. So I wanted to teach my daughters. So I brought my daughter Eva and Raya um, to learn and Nikita actually said well why don't you learn with them and at first I thought me you know I, I can't do that at my age I gave it a go and actually we really enjoy it and now we come together every week um, we spend time together it's a chance for us to bond and practice together and, and I'm really glad I did it. My name's Anasia and um, I joined dance about one year ago. I used to do a different dance before it but um, that one after COVID, it was online, so we didn't get to exactly do too much. And what do you like about it? It expresses my feelings. Oh, and uh, th does it help you with homework and things? You keep calm? Yes. Does it? Yeah. And even I love Indian dancing. I do it, um, I've done it for six months, and I love it how it's so graceful. And how Nikita really helps me go, helps me do it. Kiana, I'm in year two. And what are you going to do today? I'm going to perform a dance in front of a lot of parents. And are you looking forward to that? Yes. Why? Because it's so exciting. <laughs>my name is Tia. Hi, my name is Kishi. And today we did a Japdal piece. Um, this piece is complicated for many reasons. When I first saw it, I thought it was going to be easy. It was going to be like a walk in the park, but it's not. Um, at the beginning, like I found it okay because it's slow, but then I realised there's so much detail to it, so it was really tricky. Um, Japdal is a 10-beat cycle which is very different to the original Dean Dahl cycle we learned, the 16 beat cycle. So I think that one of the reasons why we were able to achieve this is because of the discipline that we receive from Nikita. And I think she really instills it in us and it helps with our daily lives as well. So That's very interesting. And uh, yeah. Exams are quite tough, but do you find it difficult when you're doing the exams or do you just get lost in the moment? I think because we're both preparing for grade five, um, 
I've only just started learning some of the material, but it's already really difficult. And I know grade five has a lot of material to cover. Um, you've already done most of it. <laughs> yeah, I've I've already done most of my exam stuff. But um, I was prepared to give the exam in December, but I was <laughs> I, I chickened out because it was. It's really hard to give an exam, especially because when you give it, you need to do it to your best of abilities, so yeah. And uh, as Nikita said today, you never stop learning. No. So, so are you going to carry on with this? I mean, your, your studies at, at school get harder. Is it? How do you do the two? I think um, with studies and Kathak, you just have to find that balance. Um, because I've been doing Kathak for a long time, it's quite easy for me. Um, but Kathak's given me like structure to my schoolwork as well, if that makes sense. So it's easy for me to do my work and balance Kathak. So I have time for both. Um, I'm in year 11 and it's my GCSE year. But even through this, um, I didn't stop doing Kathak because nothing really stops me from doing this because it's not, it's, it's like a fun time for me and I have fun doing it as well as this pit and it helps me with my school life as well.